Greetings my dears in love and light, Nikki Sutton here. I want to say happy Christmas to you and this is my Christmas message to you. Now first of all, let me just excuse myself, <laughs> there, there is a, a people with chainsaws cutting down trees, the wind's blowing a little bit, you have no idea how difficult it is to get good conditions to make a video and I'm very sorry about that. But anyway, Merry Christmas to you. So first of all, I just want to start with those who are just awakening at the moment. It may feel a bit funny to you right now because you're thrown together with family members perhaps that aren't awakened and you can really feel that. You feel the sort of how you're not aligned with them anymore and your interests and your thoughts and your opinions. But what I'd say is just be with them. Just enjoy what it's like being with friends and family. Uh, just being with them, sharing that love and that companionship this Christmas. Don't worry about trying to divulge what you know to them, you know, the way things are really run and uh, about uh, UFOs or about uh, spiritual concepts, the nature of self, the nature of reality. Don't feel like you have to explain yourself or you have to get these these notions across right now because they're in Christmas mode you know and they may not be too accepting of it don't feel that pressure just be literally just be get some meditation in and see how you feel okay I know it is a tricky time a scary time when you're just awakening especially at first and everything's breaking down and you're probably searching and seeking for information and then you're thrown together with your family because you know you've got to get together for Christmas and it just it can feel a bit funny you can feel that that difference between you but just take it easy just relax into it and just be okay and then I'll also say for those who who don't have anyone at Christmas if, if you if you are with lots of people and you know someone who's lonely at Christmas, especially an older person, offer them a chair at your table, you know. Uh, but if you are alone at Christmas and perhaps you're estranged from your family, I know, I know it sounds a bit scroogey to say, but Christmas is just another day and we are we are um, exposed to a lot of hype about it for several months leading up to the day and it's hard to sort of maintain that level of excitement for that long um, and come Christmas day you know you have the day and then the next day it's like all oh, massive anti-climax but I just want to say that Christmas is just another day and we should appreciate loved ones and appreciate every day the same way. Um, so if you are alone this Christmas, know that things will get better and and that you may, it may seem like everyone else is getting together on, on Christmas, but people should appreciate each other every day. And, and, and you're seeing all this, this hype around you, but just know it is another day and things will get better. Okay, so I wanted to touch upon the partial disclosure that's going on at the moment. You may have noticed in the last week or so or more um, this disclosure going on about the Pentagon having this department that's been monitoring the UFO activity for years. And this has been in mainstream media, it's been on news channels, it's been in newspapers, it's been everywhere. And it has been across Europe as well, I know in different languages too, so it is a global thing. So this partial disclosure is being rolled out so to slowly, softly, softly desensitise the population to the fact that there's extraterrestrials but they're just starting with their craft and not really saying about who's driving the things. But what I'm saying is you'll see in this coming year a lot more disclosure coming out softly, softly and uh, some people who completely have the veil down, completely have the shutters over they're going to start awakening and they're going to get a bit of a shock. We came first, we awakened for a reason and we need to help those that are coming after us. That's what our job is as well. Because the veil is going to live for them, those that were so entrenched in this 3D reality, they're so entrenched in it and then they're going to suddenly realise it's going to be a shock. We need to be there for them to help them through. I see that as our mission greatly to help them through so if you know someone who's just beginning to awaken at the moment be there for them communication is key you know to listen to them be there for them don't give them too much information just information of a light nature you know a bit about meditation where happiness is found a bit of buddhism maybe show them your crystals or something 
but uh, just take it easy with them not too much heavy information because these guys who are going to be awakening this year I believe there's a lot I believe it's hotting up really um, well, they're going to need support and I think as well there's a lot of solar activity and that's another thing there's been more solar activity recently and whenever there's solar activity it bathes the earth in uh, in electromagnetic frequencies across the entire spectrum and I really do believe this triggers more and more awakenings so we can be there for them can't we so I'll just let you know about a dream I had last night from the Andromedians because as I mentioned in a previous video that my subconscious let me know where my soul is from. Now our souls are from lots of different places but I think my soul has a strong bias towards the Andromeda galaxy or maybe likes it there or something. We have incarnations in lots of different places don't we as I'm sure your soul has too. I had a dream and the main message was that of patience, patience this year, because we know that partial disclosure is rolling out and whatever the major agenda is behind that, it's still going to cause awakenings and things are going to change slowly so not to panic the population because they don't want us panicking because they want us as good workers, don't we, getting on with our work. work. So this is going to be rolling out and the message of patience is because many of us are thinking well it's happening it's happening we can get frustrated if it's not happening quick enough and we want to be uploading good positive vibes to the mass consciousness don't we we don't want to be frustrated we don't want to be worried we don't want to be getting too deep into all this news 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 and drama we want to keep it positive doing our inner work and uploading those positive vibes and doing global meditations as well that's a great idea uh, for example global unity meditation.com global meditations to get together to upload those positive vibes to the mass consciousness and help those that are newly awakened at the moment i'm sorry about the tree cutting going on i do feel a bit sorry for whatever trees are biting the dust at the moment and clearing the way for something sorry about the no noise so Okay, so that's my Christmas message to you. One of love, peace and understanding and helping others through. And, and patience as we continue our ascension. We can see it's happening all around us. Uh, no frustration, just patience and love. Okay, I wish you a wonderful Christmas. So take care.